Hey second graders, welcome to week three of your School From Home. Um, let's talk a little bit about what we're going to be doing for math this week. Last week we practiced addition using three digits and regrouping. This week we're going to be doing subtraction with three digits and regrouping. So let's get started and see what your work looks like for this week. The first thing you're going to be doing is subtracting by tens and one hundredths just like you did last week. So let's practice one together. Let's start with the number 314. 314 minus 10. And 314 minus 100. These are problems I would really like for you to try doing using mental math. So you're doing it in your head. You're going to have to have a great sense of, of um, understanding your numbers for third grade. So this is really good practice. 314 minus 10. Remember, these teenagers are sometimes our hardest numbers, 14, to think about what comes before and after those. So 314 minus 10. Think about what numbers are before the teenagers. If you need to, you might even count up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. What numbers came before that? The single digits. So 314 minus 10 would be 304. Okay, 314 minus 100, we're gonna be looking at the hundreds place. 314 minus 100 would take us back to two hundreds, 214. So I want you to try as many of these as you can doing them mentally in your mind. The next step that we're gonna be doing is lining our numbers up so we can show that we're going over and borrowing or taking away from the other numbers. So let's try one of those. Let's do 653 minus, mm, let's do this one. Let's do 419. Okay, on your problems, I absolutely want you to always start over here in your ones place. Remember when we read, we go across the page this way. And when we do math, we go, we start on the opposite side and go this way. That's because you never know when you're going to have a problem where you need to borrow from another spot. So let's do this. Three minus nine. Think about that problem. If I had three cookies and my dad wanted me to give him nine of them, does that make sense? No. So we're going to need to borrow and have more. So we're going to go over here to the 10 spot. And instead of five tens, there's now going to be four. And then we're going to take it and move it over here. So you took away one and you're putting it over here. When you add a one to that number, you're adding a whole tens. So three plus 10 more would make it 13. Now let's see if that makes sense. I have 13 cookies and mom wants nine of them. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes more sense. So we can do that. Here's where you need to know your facts really well. 13 minus nine. What do you have? Four. Okay, then let's go over here to our 10 spot. Four minus one. Does that make sense? Three. 6 minus 4, does that make sense? 2. So your answer is 234. These are the ways that we're going to be practicing our math this week. We've learned several other ways in class, like using a number line, using manipulatives. But for the sake of what we're doing, that you're learning it from home, we're going to keep it pretty simple this week because the most important thing you need going forward in life is to understand how to do subtraction with multiple digits using regrouping. So we're gonna keep it pretty simple. Let's look at your work for this week. These are the worksheets that I sent home with you. You can do these on your own and show mom and dad at the end and have them check and see how you're doing. This is all for your practice. So the first thing we have is subtracting uh, minus 10 and minus 100. Next we have where you're lining up your numbers and you're doing your regrouping just like we practiced here. 
The next one, it says you can show me a strategy any way that you like to do it. When we were doing the addition, for some of you, this is really easy to do mentally, but for subtraction, I find that it's harder to do that in your head, and I'd really like you to line up your numbers nicely and show me using this strategy. When you get to this page, we are going to be applying what you learned, because most of the time in real life, when you get older, you're going to have stories or problems that you have, and you have to figure out how to work them. So this is kind of more like um, what, how you'll really use it. So here is a chart with some animals. You have to read the directions. If you don't read the directions, it's going to make it very hard to get the right answer. And then down here, you're going to solve the problem. The last one is um, fact practice. We have to know those facts. That's what your third grade teacher said. They really wanted you to know. So you're going to do your fact and facts, and it's a maze using your even numbers, which is good. We haven't practiced even and odd for a little while since you've been home. You will notice that there is not a red assessment page on this packet. That's because the assessment covered a lot of material that we're just not going to be able to do in this format while we're doing it from home. So in place of a test, I am going to be assigning you on Seesaw an activity. It'll be called, um, I think it says something like subtraction and addition with regrouping challenge. There'll be directions on there where you're going to use a pencil tool on the computer um, and recording your voice and you're gonna be the teacher and teach me how to do addition and subtraction with regrouping on those problems. So use this as your practice all week. You don't have to turn this in, but you also can take pictures of it and send it to me because I love to see your work and I miss seeing your work every day. But the big thing you're going to need to turn into me instead of a test is your challenge. So good luck. Let me know if you need any help. I am here for you and happy to help you in any way. Okay, bye.